Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is October the 15th, 2020. Let's talk boxing. Let's update Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, in my favorites folder right now, in my opinion at least, is a fight that Lomachenko had against a fighter who's better than Teofimo Lopez. Right? Better. Faster hands, savvier, knows how to use spacing, better defensively. And that's Gary Russell. Now, Russell has only one loss in his professional career, and it's the highlights of that fight that's in my favorites folder. The opponent is Vasily Lomachenko. Now, let me just say this, and I don't say it lightly. I think people are misunderstanding the Teofimo Lopez fight. I've read interviews where Lopez talks about how he's going to stop Lomachenko, right? He's talking about stopping him. He's talking about a KO. I know people view Lopez as the bigger puncher, but it's about skills, right? Styles make fights. What I want people to do is to look at Lomachenko against Gary Russell, a guy with faster hands than Teofimo Lopez, right? Faster hands. And what I want folks to do is to focus on Lomachenko on his front foot, right? Understand, this is a guy who, when he's fighting big hitters, Nicholas Walters, for example, is so proficient on his front foot that he can crash the pocket, right? I believe that there is a chance that a fighter gets walked down in the Teofimo Lopez fight. I would say it's a much higher likelihood that the fighter who gets walked down is Lopez, not Lomachenko, right? Lomachenko as highly as I believe in Gary Russell, Lomachenko is that much better than him as he comes in the pocket. What makes a fighter great as he comes in the pocket? Just look at the angles he sets up, right? Loma is a great athlete who can bend, who can bend his body. So you'll notice Loma gets inside, he'll throw punches, He's so flexible, he can then duck under. Headshots coming back. His feet are so good that he can dance around you, deep in the pocket. So he's here, somehow he shifts over to here without bouncing up against you. You can't find him, he's finding you with both hands. Now, Gary Russell has had a lot of fights where guys cannot get inside on him. Look at the King Tug fight, right? Guys cannot get inside on him. Here, Lomachenko is inside and he is feasting, feasting on Gary Russell's body, just feasting on it. Then, of course, as Russell starts to cover up his body, Lomachenko then starts hitting him in the head, and there are hard shots in the later rounds with right hooks. Right, folks, this is a different level than Teofimo Lopez. I know people think I'm crazy when they look at the scorecards, which were one-sided, but his fight against Nagatani was razor close. He was getting hit with looping shots. Nagatani, hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, was tall, a six-footer. And he was just throwing punches over Lopez, who could not handle the spacing. Well, let me say, I know Lopez offensively because of the high percentage of power shots that he lands, sometimes offensively looks like Floyd Mayweather. 
Folks, he's not Floyd Mayweather. What I'm going to do is go back a little bit so you can track what I'm saying. There's a January 11th, 2019 article that was published on BoxingScene.com. The author was CompuBox, the punch counting people. And what they did is they took some of the elite young talent in the sport. Virgil Ortiz, a guy who I've referred to as Secretariat here online. Michael Conlin. Teofimo Lopez. Shakur Stevenson. And Devin Haney. And they actually broke down their fights. For some of these guys, they went back five fights. For some, they went back four. Because CompuBox doesn't do every fight. Now, let me say this. Lopez is incredibly accurate, incredibly accurate in terms of his accuracy on power shots. There's no question about that, right? But let me say this. Of these five guys, the other guys caused their opponents to miss more. Right, The best on the list in terms of defense was Shakur Stevenson. Would it surprise you to know that opponents only connect on 11.8% of the punches they throw back at Shakur Stevenson, at least as of January 2019 and Stevenson's five prior fights? Right, You simply can't find him. In my opinion, the best on this list is Virgil Ortiz, right? Just in general, right? If you ask me who's the best young fighter in the sport, I would say Virgil Ortiz, right? Power, uh, ring savvy, uh, great jab, decent defense. Well, defensively, his opponents, and I understand Critics will say, well, the opponents vary in talent. <laughs> this isn't standardized. I'll agree with that. But Virgil Ortiz's opponents land a little bit less than 23% of the punches they throw back at him. And keep in mind, Ortiz is not in there dancing. He's in there duking it out. And, of course, the opponents land a little bit less than 23% back on him. With Lopez, the number is a little bit higher than 28%. In other words, Lopez, offensively blessed, spectacular counterpuncher, is not defensively blessed. Let me say this too. Combination punchers, Loma is a combination puncher, are very different than pot-shotting counterpunchers. I want people to think of this fight as a fight style-wise between Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Floyd Mayweather. Only the Mayweather side of the aisle doesn't have all of Mayweather's defense. And the Ray Leonard side of the aisle, I want people to look at Ray's KO percentage. That's the most overlooked stat, arguably, in the sports history, right? The Ray Leonard side of the aisle doesn't quite have Ray's punching power, right? Loma has other things Ray didn't have. Loma's ambidextrous. That's very important, right? Teofimo Lopez looks like he might hit a little harder than Floyd Mayweather, Right? Okay, fine. There's give and take on both sides. But understand, if you're fighting a combination puncher who can come inside and let his hands go and who is skilled in survival, right? Loma's never been knocked out as a pro. Right? He's skilled in survival. I just don't know how Loma is going to have problems with Teofimo Lopez. 
once he collapses the pocket, gets inside on him, finds out that he doesn't quite have a full Philly shell like Floyd Mayweather. He doesn't quite have Mayweather's athleticism, his legs, right? Or Mayweather's just defensive mindset. I'm telling you the secret to Mayweather is that he outthought opponents. So you come inside on Mayweather, he would tie up a shoulder. Mayweather would not move backwards. He would force you to walk into a shoulder. And he had the know-how to stay in the pocket. Folks, Lopez is a promising young fighter. He's not there yet. And Loma is a master who is there. So, in my opinion, you'll know who's winning this fight just by the positioning of the fighters. Right? I believe Lomachenko, if he wants, can decide to go forward on his front foot. <coughs> this isn't going to be a Comey fight where he's outside and he's in range. And the two guys throw punches almost at the same time, but Lopez's punch gets there first. This isn't going to be that fight. This is going to be a fight where Lopez has a hot zone, right? Let's say Lopez wants you about, oh, 18 inches in front of him, right? Lopez has a hot zone where he wants to be able to counter you, right? He wants you to miss, and then he's surgical with the counters, the problem is, when you fight a guy who can fight inside, think Andre Ward, right? They're not giving you the 18 inches. Worse yet, if Loma, and I know this is counterintuitive, if Loma comes forward to maintain that 18 inches, Teofimo's going to have to go backward. Then the question becomes, can Teofimo Lopez fight backing up against one of the fastest-handed, savviest, elusive, hard-to-hit fighters in the sport. So, I think the world has this upside down. I think Lomachenko could get a KO here. Right? Right? I know I made an earlier video and I said, look, hedge this play with Teofimo by KO. I'll agree with that. I stand by that earlier video. But understand, it's more likely that Lomachenko gets the KO than Teofimo Lopez. Right? I'm sure Lopez is going to be in there trying to get the KO. He's in with the combination puncher. Who's going to win the slow rounds where no one gets hurt? Folks, they're all going to go to Lomachenko. Right? Combination punchers are the ones throwing punches. They're flashing their hands. Right? Let me say this too. Look at the Nicholas Walters tape. Nicholas Walters has his back up against the ropes. Right? Lomachenko, more than any other fighter, understands that if he breaks your rhythm coming forward, he breaks you, right? Lopez is a young guy getting hit more than Virgil Ortiz, Michael Conlon, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, right? He's getting hit more than those guys as it is against non-Lomachenko opposition. When he enters the ring against Loma and Loma comes inside and comes low, like he did against Gary Russell, gets inside of Gary's hand speed. If Loma decides to smother you, and if Lopez does what he likes to do, folds his hands across his body, he's going to be open up top. Maybe Loma doesn't hit as hard as Lopez. But understand, that's academic because with combination punchers, if they hit you enough times, 
you're going to go down. Right? Factor in the experience gap here. Think about it. <clears throat> Lomachenko has fought Rigondeau. He's fought Gary Russell. He's fought Jorge Linares. He's fought a guy who has some losses, but who I privately feel is better than Teofimo Lopez. He's fought Jose Pedraza. He's fought Nate Campbell. Right? This is a guy who, short number of fights. Folks, he's living off of elite fighters. Nicholas Walters. Right? I believe there's an experience gap. I believe there's a, an inside fighting gap. Right? There's a hand speed gap. There's a foot speed gap. I think the favorite wins this fight. Right? The purpose of this video, and I know some guys have made it the distance. Gary Russell makes it the distance. Understand, Russell has also been a champion for five years. Right? Gary Russell makes it the distance. Right? I know there are guys who have made it the distance on Lomachenko. But this could end up being like his fight against Jorge Linares, right? Where the fight looks even, the fight looks even, suddenly Linares starts getting hit with shots. I know Loma goes down in that fight, flash knockdown, right? Not a knockdown caused by fatigue. He's not panting. He's not trying to hold on. Rather, it looks like Loma got a little bit full of himself, forgot that he's fighting a world-class opponent, walks into a punch, goes down, gets back up. But after he gets up, oh my God, didn't Jorge Linares pay? Wasn't he getting hit with body shots? Jorge Linares does not make it to the finish line. I would not be surprised here if there is a stoppage by Lomachenko. Now that said, Teofimo Lopez has a puncher's chance. You need to hedge the play with Lopez by KO. I'm expecting Lomachenko to win the fight, take the hedge with Loma with uh, Lopez by KO, but don't be surprised if Teofimo Lopez is on his back foot, unable to deal with Lomachenko on his front foot, collapsing the pocket on supposedly a superior puncher, right? Just look at what happens at the end of the Nicholas Walters fight. Walters was unbeaten at the time. Walters was a lethal puncher at the time. Walters had beaten Danito Denier at the time. Walters was so embarrassed by the fact that Loma had crashed the pocket. Loma at times isn't even throwing punches. That's how advanced Loma is. He broke Walters' rhythm. He had Walters backing up where Walters couldn't do anything. Walters, like Sonny Liston, gives up his title sitting down between rounds. Like Oscar De La Hoya against Manny Pacquiao. Same type of thing. Mentally beaten. Between rounds, you're like, nah, that's it. I've had enough. This guy's going to take my title. Great, because I cannot go out there for another round and continue to get embarrassed like this. Right? You got an old master here against a young guy. The old master is the better athlete, is the better inside fighter, is a combination puncher who's likely to win all the slow rounds. I think Lomachenko wins the fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.